Let's create this glitch effect in Photoshop. Hi everyone, welcome again to Graphiculator YouTube channel. Let's start the edit. I have selected this desaturated image. Make sure your image is in RGB format. And I'm going to the layer panel to create a duplicate layer of this layer. Ctrl J or Command J on Mac to create duplicated layer of the selected layer. And now I need to convert this layer to a smart object. So I can apply smart filters to this layer. Right click on the layer and convert to smart object. Okay, you can see that this layer now converted to a smart object. Now with the selected smart object layer, go to the filters. Distort. Shear. Now you will see this kind of window with some grid panel and small image preview at the bottom. You can adjust the shear effect by adjusting this curve in grid panel. You can see the preview change at the bottom according to your adjustments. For this case, I only need very very small effect like this. You will see that this shear filter has been now added to our smart object layer as a smart filter. We can edit this filter again anytime we need. This is the main advantage of smart filters. And I'm now going to create this misprint effect. Go to the layer style at the bottom of layer palette and blending options. In this window, under the advanced blending, you can see there are RGB channels shown here. In here, turn off the red channel like this. Hit OK. You can now see that this misprint effect has applied to the image like this. And also you will see this distortion on both side of the image. We can still fix this thanks to the smart filter layer. Double click on top of the smart filter. And you will see that this window which we saw earlier. You need to tick on repeat edge pixels. It will fix the distortion effect at both sides of image. Alright, now I'm going to create the glitch distortion. I need to take another copy of this original layer at the bottom. Ctrl J or Command J on Mac. And bring this new layer all the way up. Ok, now go to the toolbox and take rectangular marquee tool. Then draw a selection like this. And take move tool. Move your selection slightly to left like this. And draw another selection like this. Take the move tool and need to move that selected area also like this. And I will create another selection from here. This time I draw a very thin selection. And move this selection to right. And I will create another one here. You will need to spend some time here to create this distortion effect, need to create these kind of distortions all over the image. But need to make sure that you not make any damage to the basic structure of the image. So this is the distortion effect I created by spending couple of minutes. You will also need to come up something like this. Once you done, select this layer, and go to the opacity slider in layer palette. Reduce the opacity bit. I will stick around 40 in this case. And select the smart object layer again. I'm going to scale this layer bit up to see the misprint effect bit more. Select the free transform from edit menu. Or Ctrl T or Command T on Mac. And I will slightly scale up this image to see this effect bit more. And move this slightly like this. Ok, now I will create new layer on top of all these layers. And fill the layer in white color. Alt backspace in Windows, Option delete in Mac. And convert this new layer also to a smart object. I'm going to add halftone pattern filter to this layer. Make sure that your background color is set to black. And go to the filters. 
Filter Gallery. In this window, select Halftone Pattern from the filter list at the right side. And set the size and contrast to 1. Make sure that pattern type is set to lines. Hit OK. And go to the blending modes. Change blending mode from normal to multiply. And then reduce opacity. I will stick around 8. Now you can see this lines across the image. Now I'm going to add some noise to this image. Create another layer on top off all other layers. And go to the colors. I'm changing foreground color to black in this case. You can switch between foreground and background colors by pressing X key in your keyboard. And fill the layer with black color. Alt backspace for windows. Option delete in Mac. And convert this layer to smart object same as others. Go to the filters. Noise. Add noise. Set amount to 110. Distribution to Gaussian. Change blending mode from normal to overlay. Reduce opacity to 15. Now you can see this noise effect in image. And finally I'm going to add a gradient adjustment layer. Go to the new adjustment layer. Gradient. I will select this second gradient for this. Change style to radial. And reverse the colors. I will slightly adjust this gradient to make image more visible. Hit OK. And change blending mode to overlay. Reduce the opacity to around 30. Now this will create a great color gradient effect around the image. So, that's it everyone. Now you can compare this new glitch image and the original. Hope you learned something from this video. Then please hit the like button. Also please share this video to see someone else. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see all new tutorials and other design stuffs. See you in next video.